Ooh, he is going, Doc. The Doc hype is still going for Sharp. All right. Let's see how this goes. Hi, I think the only, the, you, only but... thing, uh, the only thing that I feel is immediate struggle for Doc is just his speed on the ground. He can't really uh, run away from Ken. So I'm wondering if uh, Sharp's like, yeah, I'm not even going to try to run away. I I'm just going to go crazy on this guy. I mean, you're going to see already, man. He was not afraid to go aggressive against Ken. 35 to 54% even climbing. Pretty stuff coming up from Sharp, but now it's able to spawn and climb. Like I said, right, once Ooh. Ken gets into the neutral, there's a lot of opportunities you can to get you in terms of pressure. Double down tilt into quick Tatsu. Once again, nice. It sticks out that really good leg there just to push out more damage on Sharp. Ooh. Almost dying to that crescent kick. Ooh, Ooh give me all that. Give me all that. That was a super well timed down there, and uh, that was just nothing Shark could do there. He was stuck in the lag from his tornado. Yeah. Great patience from Mal. And the down throw cyclone <laughs> covering the focus with the multi hit. Really good idea there for Sharp. Yeah. Not only to get the kill, but to you know get past the focus as well. Oh, look at this corner but carry. Look at the, the damage too. already. Sixty-three percent. Sharp is really committed to using that up out of shield. I don't blame him. If uh, he gets the strong hit, it, it can kill or just get his opponent off of him. Just relieve some yeah. pressure. Good talk oh, to you. The second packer. Oh, I don't know about that one, but doesn't get a oh, oh, never mind. I was trying to say he doesn't get hard punished, and then he just flat out died. Hit him with the clean anti-air. Sure, you can. And now Mal, he's just like, he's, he's staying back, you know. Saying, all right, man, you, you got to get in. You got to approach me. Oh, I don't know what that down smash was supposed to be. I know yeah. Ken, Ken and Ryu can uh, cancel out of their charge down smash now, but he didn't go for the uh, Tatsu out of it. Nice. Sharp it'll get out though here. Another upbeat. Right, oh, you like to show you can. I can assure you can too. Nice. He has to dip a little bit lower. He doesn't want to get caught by one of those pills by using his jump. He already did too. So he's goal for, goals for that one. Good Tatsu to come back on the stage. Nice. Save that jump as soon, much as possible. Nice. No roll. No giving up a, an option there for Sharp. Nice. Oh, oh get the top stage rush here. And right before you can even press the Cyclone there, Mal oh, executes with precision. Beautiful, beautiful. The immediate down air after sending him off stage from the Tatsu. I even like the Tatsu itself because he like... He got in on him so fast before Sharp could even, you know, press a button. Pushed him right to the corner of the stage and then just got that nice, nice down air. He had two really good down airs in that game. Yeah, it's it's good too because you you know what kind of recovery Dr. Mario has. It's not... Ooh, it's Sheik's not the... out. Who cares about Dr. Mario? Sheik's out now. <laughs> no more games for, uh, for, for Sharp here. So, all right, all right. The the Doctor Mario content was cool and all, but I, I gotta I gotta go better characteristics. This guy's kin, no slouch. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Sharp's uh, Sheik, but this is definitely one of the characters uh, he's known for. Let's see how this goes. Normally, uh, Sheik's not super bad in this matchup because she can overwhelm um, the Shotos with her speed. It's just you don't want to trade. <laughs> you do not want to trade and uh, end up dying incredibly early to like some rage sure you can or combo of some sorts. Yeah, specifically like it's she dishes the damage out, but the problem is like, executing on kills. It's gonna be up to Sharp to see when you get the opportunity. Really good opportunity for Mao to actually go for that one, but Sharp he responds in kind. You can already tell Sharp is full of the she combos there with the four tilt. Oh, barely missing that up tilt. Good DI. He could have been in danger of that Shoryuken. Oh, the folk is saving his life, but the oh. Nair trade working out in Sharp's favor. Really good way to salvage that stock. Like you said, man, you don't want to trade, and unfortunately, Mao got the worst part of that trade. Well, you don't want to trade a Sheik, so hey, man. <laughs> that was not what I was talking about. Hey, that was one of the few times where trading is good. That was one of the few times where you want to trade. But, uh, yeah, but yeah. Look at, looking at the percents, you can tell like it was okay for Sharp to trade in that situation. Just because yeah. the percents were okay. If it were a higher percent, I would have been definitely scared for Sharp. Good corner carry with the Tatsu, though. Is he going to get it on the way back? No. Sharp comes I like right the idea. The ledge. I like the idea of Tatsuing into the uh, ledge to catch the two frame on Sheik's recovery, but he just barely missed. 
That's correct execution right. from Mal. Look at that. Every single time Sharp wants to go in one of those aerials, the last two times, right? He's immediately get around it just by using focus attack. Ooh. I wonder if Sharp meant to uh, up smash there instead of up tilt. Either or, he's just really working on this lead right here. Back throw is not going to kill. I do like the fact that he's using Hadouken to kind of force Sharp to go for different recovery options. Specifically why we saw that up B, but Sharp is also very cautious. Like, I don't want to have to recover from below the stage. Right. To give Mao more opportunities here. Unfortunately, no Dude. tech is a big opportunity for Sharp. Gets the sweet spot of the up smash. And Sharp with such a big lead here in game two. Oh, yeah. He's definitely using Sheik's mobility to the fullest right now. It's been so hard for uh, Mao to rush him down, really. Oh. Oh, great tech. Crucial tech, actually. Might have just died otherwise. Oh, there's the auto turnaround coming in clutch. Got some nice. good tech there. Yeah, it's really good percent there for Mal. I'm going to just say this, man. Mal must have been a Street Fighter player because he is so good at getting these corner carries with down tilt. Okay, nice. Trying to come back in the neutral. Good opportunity to find a oh. way to get in here. Only a cross up, though. Good parry. Enough to kind of slowly put Sharp in his place here, but Sharp still able to get a lot of these chic opportunities. Nice. Oh. Good Hadouken once again. Forces Sharp to go for a low recovery. Unfortunately, Mal can't capitalize there. Gets hit by the landing hitbox. So Sheik's up special. Oh, going for the raw shore. You can see if you get a snag a jump from Sharp, but he's just not finding it here. Nice. Sneaks in the grab. He has him back where he wants him at the corner of the stage. Still has those needles charged up as well. Ooh. No hard punish again. Yeah, and Sharp is just hanging back. Oh, nice. Until he dashes right into that back air. Luckily, he's still alive, though. Yeah, that back air was really, really good to just kind of call out Sharp as soon as possible, especially with how his dash dancing. So as the needles charged up. Oh, there's that down smash canceled Tatsu, but it didn't really lead to much. Sharp still hanging on to the stock. Good forward throw here, and it puts it, like, pretty much puts Sharp in a, such an off stage position. Ooh. For the raw story, you can again oh. start not falling for it, man. He's just avoiding tell, all. Mal wants the stock too. Sharp is oh. using all the double jumps, but finally a forward tilt to upper. Not enough to take care of the stock here. Mal using a little bit of that focus head to try to land back towards center stage. He knows if I get this back air or an opportunity where Sharp just slips up here, I can finally come back with the stock. That's yeah, a, lot a little of bit too early. Done. A little bit too early to on that edge guard. Can sneak in the back air. Sharp is looking for a Needle's up smash, but he hasn't been able to find it yet. I'm going to be real oh, with the here. Like, I, I don't think it's going to be a whole rabbit jab. Okay, off the stage once again with Mal here. Using that focus attack. Good Tatsu. Active hitbox, enough to bypass Sheik's neutral air. In that situation here, I like it. Look at the neutral, look at the footsies. You can tell Mal does not want to give too much of an inch here. Finally gets an aerial, pushes himself at the corner. He's looking to catch Sharp on the landing, but he missed the opportunity here. That's going to be a forward throw? Yep. Dude, Sharp is just like so hard to hit. <laughs> okay, finally. Finally gets the stock off an unteckable. Look, I'm gonna be real with you, Strides. If he gets two of those corner carries we've been seeing Mal get, oh, he can get the combat and great tech just to start off here. Finds it? Yeah, nice. I'm not gonna count Mal out. He can definitely no. win this off of like two or three neutral exchanges, but Sharp's not making it easy whatsoever. Oh, he yeah. recognizes that as well. Sharp already has a lot of skill as oh. a player. Oh, oh wait, that's what you want, though. That forwarder put him in the corner of the stage, and he's racking oh. up for safety. That was a very, very bold Shoryuken, but he auto-canceled on the platform, so he didn't die. Ooh, Ooh he saved he's, his he's jump in the, the bouncing fish. fish. Nice. That's really, really smart from Sharp there. Seeing that he air dodged out of, like, his up air setup, and just sneak in the bouncing fish before he could land on the ground. Uh, that was really great. Really great comeback from Mao. Didn't give up at all, even though he was one stock, 170 plus when Sharp still had two. Yeah, and, and like I said too, like we were talking about it, right? Mao was not out of the cards for that. Like I said, he's so, he must be a Street Fighter player because he's so like great with execution with those corner carries that he gets with down tilt that that amounts to a lot of percent, but also it puts Sharp at such a tough situation, but that was on Dr. Mario, and that was on Sheik. Let's gonna see how he does against Sharp's Lucina here. Lucina, mm -hmm. uh, Lucina not as like nimble on the ground as uh, Sheik is. Doesn't have as much impressive frame data, but 
still really fast uh, moves and a lot of range too to keep Kin out and can yeah. kill a little bit easier. So I think that's uh, what Sharp's going for here with this switch. Yeah, Ooh, consistency the without the sword, with the, within the whole sword is good enough. What a wow. trade, dude. What oh, he's, is he trade. dead? No, he came back still. Wow. I didn't think his up he would reach that far. Ooh. Nice. Oh, this is really tough for Mal here. Unfortunately, Ooh. not enough gas in those frames from that Shoryu, and he loses the stock here to Sharp. Dude, he actually he took his jump with the uh, reverse up B he did that there. Sh Sharp <laughs> must have been really good at trading Pokemon cards back in the day. That's all I'm saying, man, because he's coming out on top. I didn't understand that reference, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm sorry, you have I'm sorry you didn't have Pokemon cards rides, but let's get right I mean, you. I did, just like, years ago. I don't think you know how old I am. Anyway, we're uh, in <laughs> this game right now. The raw Shoryuken all the time. If you're gonna jump in front of my face as when I'm kin, you have to know I'm gonna swing and throw oh, this yeah. move at. Let's see though. Mal's been really good at making these comebacks happen. Really like how Sharp's spacing here. I, oh, oh, no downer down strike, there. but that's, he Such doesn't even need range, to continue. That super strong edge guard. Yeah. So good. It was it was a really great downer, specifically because it looked at the position where I put Mal, right? He was forced to go for Tatsu, and that's enough for Sharp to take care of that situation there. And then he took care of the stock. Mal was doing Mal was doing pretty pretty well, but look at the way that Sharp keeps putting in Mal in such positions that it gives Sharp opportunities to get the edge guards in which he comes out more favorable. Yep, Tina is definitely a character that can bank off of these deep edge guards, and you know, can have some mix up on his recovery, but if he doesn't have a jump, it's very linear. If he's especially if he's forced to use his uh, Tatsu off stage, but another really well placed Shoryuken gonna take. That stock off a of sharp, bring it to a last stock situation. Can he make the comeback happen again? He was able to close out last time. See if he can change it up this time. Yeah. His main throw though is getting in though, because the range of the forward air and the down tilt has been doing so much for uh, for sharp right now. Oh, most definitely. Down tilt is a really great move across most all of the Fire Emblem characters here. That was going to be a great call out. Unfortunately, that hitbox lasted a little bit longer for now. Finally gets in here with the area and a little bit of a down tilt. Hadouken holds sharp in place, but that down has such an excellent Ooh. opportunity on the cooldown now from recent patches of it getting buffed. I love that focus. I love that focus to keep himself landing on the ground, but uh... that raw Shoryuken, man, was no, with no confirming to it. Just kind of swinging, hoping it would connect. And uh, yeah, Sharp's gonna punish that super easily. Kind of unfortunate because I feel like Mal was doing a good job just bringing that back. Didn't really need to take a super hard risk like that, in my opinion. Yeah, and the hard part too for Mal specifically is because the way that Shoryu is actually crosses up on shield, it does a lot of shield damage if set up properly, which we've been able to see Mal do and not to get shield pokes. But in these situations here where Sharp has a pretty healthy shield because he has him pressing the L the L or the R button, he has been pretty off okay here, and that cross up on the Shoryu was pretty much the damage dealer up against him out here. Yo, Diddy game Kong. Four, game with the Diddy, I'm telling you. Yo, he's going the full the full character select on, on Mal right now. Doc game one, Sheik game two, Lucina game three. I love to see it. This is one of the newer characters I've seen Sharp pick up, but he's definitely still really good with Diddy Kong. Yeah. And I actually and if, think Diddy is pretty good in this matchup as well. I love the command grab, especially. Oh, going for the Z drop down there so early. I don't I don't uh blame him, but that move kills like so fast if you catch him jumping at the ledge. Yeah, that down air is or sorry, that monkey flip is so good in this matchup because where the oh. ooh, do you snack out of the jump with that? Oh, and, and that's barely. about Tatsu too in those positions, right? It's it's probably one of Ken's most vertically moving moves, but the problem is it leaves him open for punishment, and that gives Sharp a lot of the opportunities where he's able to put him out. He's literally forcing oh. him to go for that Tatsu oh. for good reason. That was such a good down tilt from Sharp, but he didn't. I think he wanted to go, not, go off stage and like forward air or down air, but oh. he didn't go for it. Good, good on Sharp too. He put oh. himself in such a low oh. position. This is big oh. damage. Should stock take it? Not just yet. He almost died for that messed up up B. <laughs> Pretty much at kill percent now, but oh my goodness, he didn't get the multi hit of his up smash. Oh but no. Another uh, kind of Randy Shoryuken 
from Mauser leading to his uh, his own death. Great combo from Sharp. Continuing with the monkey flip. And uh, yeah, I was trying to say earlier, the monkey flip is really good in this matchup because in that mid range where you know Ryu and Ken like to space down tilt, Diddy can just grab them for it or throw a banana. Yeah, and particularly within the reason. I mean. oh. Ooh, <laughs> watch out for the barrels, man. The move is so strong. Good on Sharp to out put that banana into good positions where it forces Mount to kind of pick an option select. And even then, Diddy has the great ground speed and air speed, but also a great toolkit in the air to punish Ken for aerials or just picking wrong options. Yeah, if he just catches Mount deciding to jump into him and he, he reads it, he can just easily up smash it too. This is good on Mao because he knows what that Shoryuken means, but he's unable to find him. This is going to be a top Hadouken to stall. Yeah. I like it. Mao changing the recovery here specifically because he knows that Tots is getting caught. But Ooh, that there it is. Hadouken will pay its price. And this puts Sharp up on three stocks and Mao in such a deficit. Oh, yeah. Sharp is definitely holding on to this lead. Great movement as well. Oh, the banana. <laughs> the banana is messing up everything Mal wanted to do there. Nice. Okay, we'll take it. I like the choice of going for the Crescent Kid, because if you went for something else, he might have tripped on the banana yep. and uh, missed his chance to kill. This isn't over for Mal. Like I said, right? he's been so great on his executions. He's just been missing those Tatsus. Almost gets the corner carry, but unfortunately, missed execution will definitely let Sharp slip through. Nice, good spot yeah. dodge there, able to get away from that opportunity. Yes, Charles playing, playing at a really good distance in this matchup. Oh, he's playing in a... Opportunity. Banana in play though. Yeah, he's playing in a way that like, wants to almost force him out to use the Tatsu to approach. Yeah. And it's uh, really easy to punch. And Sharp has already forced out the Tatsu from the recovery. Like, you've been seeing it. Mao's not going for that Shoryu for the recovery. Great opportunity. Oh, Diddy's live enough. and dive by that side special. Okay, now, we're gonna get himself back in the neutral here, looking for that landing hitbox, unable to find it. Gets the back air, Ooh. though. So, Sharp was dash dancing there, and he was already holding right when he got hit by that back air. That's so the weak one special, early. bro. That's the weak one special, man. You love dash dancing because of the movement, but you lose your stock for it? Come on, Sharp. Still in a really good lead here, though. As long as he doesn't do anything too, uh, too crazy has a really good chance of closing this out. And he's just been playing really safe too. There's the trip into the banana, or sorry, the banana trip into the four smash. Clean punish. The Diddy to close it out. That would be 3-1 sharp going to winner's finals.